Well, it's been around since 1960. It actually, um, in this past April, Potter's House celebrated, we celebrated our 51st uh, birthday or anniversary. Um, it's quite an interesting story how it got started, um, and it's re really designed to be, a, you know, a church in the marketplace and, and a church that serves the community wherever the community is, is at, um, no questions asked, just to, to be a presence and meet those community needs, whatever they might be. The story of, it, of its origins, as, as I understand it, um, is the, the founding pastor and his wife, Gordon and Mary Cosby, um, they're the co-founders of the Potter's House, um, um, had a very interesting experience which led them to kind of decide on, on a coffee house ministry. Gordon himself had been a uh, chaplain in World War II um, and was, uh, you know, working with soldiers who might die at any moment. So he was described, he was struggling with the way to, to immediacy of getting the, the Christian message to uh, the, the, the service people that he worked with. Um, and uh, so when he came back to after the war, uh, and he, I think uh, it's, it's my understanding that he was kind of that 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 question stayed with him, and how could he make the ministry and uh, you know the, the spiritual work very immediate to people? Um, and so uh, he had a, a church here, and uh, the story is is that he and his wife Mary were asked to give a talk up at a church in New England, uh, and they w they went up there. I believe it was during Lent. And um, they went up there, and the, uh, the spirit of the, of the whole event and the church or whatever just did, didn't move them. They thought some, something was missing, you know, and kind of kind of down about that. And when on their way back home to D the D.C. area, um, the only room they could get was above a tavern, uh, and they couldn't sleep all night. Um, so they started thinking, well, what could we do? How could we combine the life of the tavern with us, with a, with the spiritual message and the, and the Christian message, and uh, and that again that question of immediacy. Uh, and um, they, they the next morning they had uh, coffee um, at a coffee shop across the street. So the idea kind of hit them. Let's have a uh, have a coffee house ministry. The space is it's sacred space. It's a church. It's a community center. Uh, where and activities where. Uh, we can meet the community needs, um, and it's always been a special place of hospitality where all are welcome without regard to any background, um, you know, where all backgrounds are welcome without any questions asked. Um, it's always been said that even folks who consider themselves not spiritual are welcome to come in and ask spiritual questions, you know. Um, um, that's one of the things that has always resonated with me. Um, so it's a very welcoming place we, we consider our mission hospitality, um, and we do that in a number of different ways, through meals, uh, number one, through books in the bookstore, uh, and the books focus on spirituality and social justice, um, and uh, through, the, through the art uh, wall there, uh, which is, uh, has themes of also spirituality or community or, or justice as well, um, and just, you know, just welcoming people and, and sponsoring activities and uh, being a meeting place for the neighborhood and the community. Right, it's not your usual idea of church, um, but we consider all of those church, everything. Again, it's the inward, outward journey. So we, there's worship here, um, that's the inward, and prayer. We, and we set aside the back room for quiet time or prayer or meditation from four to five every day. So there's, there's space for that uh, inward journey. And then the outward journey, which in Potter's House case is, again, is hospitality. So, um, and that's welcoming people, again, from all backgrounds and serving them food. And, the, you know, the early Christian tradition of hospitality, that was a big part of the early Christian tradition. So we try to continue that, in, you know, in, in the modern era.